Snoop. What's up? Why'd you kill Biggie? What? And they said that you guys are involved in a cover-up about Tupac. Involved in a cover-up? So in other words, do you get a lot of that? Do you get accused of like killing different people and stuff? I mean, you kind of sense a little something was going on. But you didn't know the full details of it because it hadn't fully blossomed yet. It was in the beginning of this hate thing. Pop came to me one day out of his own mouth. We riding and we chopping it up and shit. We just chopping it up about, a, about you know about random things. And so Pop, you know, he say man, you know, he quoted to me. He said man, niggas, you know, niggas still hate on me. He say niggas hate on me, but I'm still rolling with him. So therefore, he was telling me that somebody from the death row camp was hating on him because he's still rolling with him. And that was a real nigga though. To say, man, one of these niggas hating hey, on me, but fuck it, I'm a real nigga, I'm just gonna keep riding, fuck it. I'm gonna ride on and ride out. We're the toughest team in town. We don't have to put tough on our chest and walk out and demand respect, they give it to us. The hate you gave little infant, ECK, everybody. What you feed us as seeds grows and blows up in your face. Sit! Did you get bullied by the Shug? No, I ain't never get bullied now. That, that, Why you, not? You can get that word up out of there right there, nephew. Ain't no bullying going down. They tried me a couple times. Yeah. There was always indications that Snoop had been angry at, you know, Tupac, you know, and Suge, right? Because Tupac used to pick on Snoop a lot. Suge didn't let none of my security ride with me. I had to ride on the plane with him, his homies, and Pac. And it was the most uncomfortable ride I ever had in my life. What's happening, blood? What's up with Whoopi? But they never physically touched me, done nothing to me. I think Tupac and Snoop, you know, I, I think Tupac slapped Snoop, Snoop Dogg. And this is, what, this is what Shug told me, and threw Snoop in the back where the luggage was. And I'm not laughing at that, but it just, you know. You know, I'm still pretty, you know what I'm saying? They ain't never done anything. They ain't never done nothing to this year, man. So I go in the back put the blanket on my head, knife in my hand, fork in my hand, and just sleep the rest of the ride. Because I feel like it's, they finna try to do something to me. Is that because you're a real gangster? No. So it seems like there was a lot of disrespect that went on. And there was, an, there was things that he did infer or allude to the fact that Snoop or his cousin might have been involved with this. Yep. You going to Vegas, cuz? It turned on me like this. Like talking to somebody else. So I'm like, all right. So when I get off the plane, we land, we meet right here. I'm like, cuz, you going to Vegas? He do me like this. Mm. As he had told us that he was not going there with his words, them sell out niggas. I could have jumped out on his ass in Vegas, but I, you know, it was killing me. But Snoop was like, hold on. Don't fuck this up. But Snoop is like, hold on. Don't fuck this up. No one, in the, no one in the past has ever asked me anything about Tupac, even though when you look at the MTV Music Award tapes, and when you look at his whole last week, you'll see me there. I was there in Vegas when he was shot. I was one of the first people to the hospital, but I was never interviewed by anyone. So I'm just coming forth now to, to set it the record straight. And some of the things that happened to Tupac, we need to check within death row before we start pointing the fingers at other people. As he had told us that he was not going there with his words, them sell out niggas. Don't fuck this up. sitting in the doghouse chopping game with my nephew, Lil Half D. So, I want to let everybody out there know what time it is. Don't fuck this up.
Said everybody's gonna find out about that. I don't have to play a hate or draw scripture about that. Will come out, you'll find out for yourself, and you'll know why sacrifices have to be made. Anything you do, sometimes sacrifices have to be made, and it's sad to say that their lives had to be sacrificed for hip hop mm. to become what it is today. And then when he goes to accept the award for Tupac, he's wearing like a woman's shawl, like a like a scarf, whatever you want to call it, covered in pentagrams. Like, is that yeah. Is that all a coincidence? And then Snoop shows up covered in pentagrams. Really can't believe that it's been 21 years since we actually got to hear from Tupac. No, not the one clip on YouTube, not the movie or the hologram. Tupac, Amaru Shakur. And then I was even telling Michael Carlin, you turn the volume all the way down and watch Snoop accept the award for, for Tupac you would literally think that Snoop is there accepting the award for himself. That's the impression I got with the volume turned all the way up, just to be honest with you. His best Tupac story is Tupac telling him how great he is. Yes. Then all of a sudden, Pac would start telling me about some movie idea he had, about me being the main star. He was saying some shit I wasn't paying attention. He saw more potential in me than I saw in myself. And it's funny because after he passed away, I started getting a lot of movie roles. And I always felt that Pac was looking out for his nigga, even after he was gone. And you're right, when Snoop gave the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame speech, or what have you, and he was talking about Afeni hugging him and all that, that's the first time in 20 years I've ever heard that story. So Snoop's story has changed. Right after I heard Tupac got shot, I immediately flew to Vegas, and I walked in the room, and I seen him laid out on the bed. Call Shuggy, like, yeah, they white people, come on out here now drive out there I immediately flew to Vegas drive out there I immediately flew to Vegas and I walked in the room and I seen him laid out on the bed with all kind of tools and shit in him and I was so weak I damn near fell over and his mom came over to me and she grabbed me she held me up and she said baby you got to be strong and even in that moment his mom was thinking more about me than herself <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 